The right. second part to this lesson involves finding the inverse of the tangent. Right. And don't get too scared Two. or confused. Shh, don't get too scared or confused by this. Um, every Two. function that you're ever going to do is going to have uh, an inverse for the most part, right? So yeah. the inverse of multiplying is dividing. The multi inverse of adding is subtracting. So think of it as the opposite of the tangent, right? Um, another good example is is squaring. We've been doing a little bit of squaring, right? So what is the inverse of squaring? Well, it's taking the square root. So it undoes whatever you've done, right? Or it's kind of the, the opposite, um, do the opposite thing. So in this case, we have to do the inverse tangent of angle A. You can just leave. Get out of here. That's okay. He smelled like poop anyway. So the inverse tangent here, it has this little uh, negative one exponent thing. Um, and this just means that instead of doing the tangent function, we're going to be doing the inverse tangent function. Uh, and I'll show you what I mean by that here in a second. Um, in fact, your calculator can do a pretty good job of this. Uh, remember before how we found this list of, uh, of the tangents of different angles? So we found the tangent of angle uh, of zero degrees, the tangent of an angle that was 15 degrees, the tangent of an angle that was 30 degrees, 45, 60, 75, and then finally 90. Um, so this time, we're going to find the inverse tangent. Um, but this time, instead of finding the inverse tangent of 0 degrees, uh, or 15 degrees, or 30 degrees, we want to find the inverse tangent of that, that tangent ratio. So, uh, for example, I'll skip 0 here and I'll just do the second one. Uh, if I want to find the inverse tangent of 0.268, um, I would come over here to my, my calculator. Um, a lot of calculators uh, hide the inverse functions with an extra button. Uh, so I'd hit inverse and then tangent. Uh, and in this case, it shows up like this. But um, you saw how it had a negative exponent there. Um, so this will give me the inverse tangent of whatever um, value I put in here in the parentheses. So it was uh, 0.268, 0.268, okay. So 0.268, um, note here that I don't want to be in radians, I want to be in degrees, and this value is, <gasps> surprise, surprise, 15, whoa, okay, here, 215, 15, okay, so go ahead and do these other ones. Um, Let's see, There's they go all the way down to uh, if you got an undefined value here for the tangent of 90, that's okay. Basically, the tangent of 90 is infinity um, because you can't really have two right angles in a triangle. Um, so instead of writing down infinity, we'll take the inverse tangent of just a really big number, just punch in a bunch of nines um, and see what the inverse tangent of that is. Um, and that'll get us pretty close. Uh, we're doing rounding here anyway. So, um, pause for a second. Pause. Uh -huh. color and we're back um, with some real values. So, if you notice here, that the inverse tangent of all of these ratios should, again, if you do it right, um, come out to the original angles that we plugged in here, right? So you could go back and forth between that, the ratio to the angle to the ratio to the angle by doing the inverse tangent, tangent, inverse tangent, tangent. So keep in mind that's kind of what the inverse tangent is, is going to look for. So uh, we can use that inverse tangent to actually calculate what the angles themselves are. So in this case, it asks, what is the measure of angle A? So measure of angle A. Right. Before, the only thing we could do is calculate the hypotenuse using the Pythagorean theorem. But again, really powerful new tool here. We can calculate actual angles when we have um, almost no other angles here. Right. Um, so in this case, we write out the problem the exact same. We say the tangent of angle A is equal to the opposite over the adjacent. So the tangent of angle A is equal to the opposite over the adjacent. In this case, so instead of getting the tangent of angle A, right, we don't know what the tangent of angle A is. We're going to take the inverse tangent of both sides. And the book doesn't show this very well, but essentially, when you take the inverse tangent, it looks something like this, right? T, A, and negative 1, 
of this. You take the inverse tangent of this. Um, there's not really a good space to put it in here. Um, so I'll just write parentheses um, tangent. Traditionally, you put it on the, um, the left side, but we'll put it on the right side here. Um, and then in this case, if I'm taking the inverse tangent of the tangent of something, whew, that's better. Um, so essentially, this inverse tangent of the tangent of A, we've done that, right? That's up here. The inverse tangent of the tangent of A is angle A. Um, so this is going to cancel. All that cancels. And so angle A, the measure of angle A, is equal to the inverse tangent of 19 over 36. Um, this is something we can plug into our calculator, right? 19 divided by 36, and then uh, hit the inverse tangent button uh, for most iPhone calculators. Um, otherwise, you may have to do inverse tangent and then 19 divided by 36 in parentheses, something like that. Um, but plug it in, you can get a value, right? Uh, we'll try this other one here. Uh, what is the measure of angle B? Angle B. We can do the shortcut way, right? If angle A here is 28 degrees, What's an easy way to calculate what angle B is? Well, we just subtract it from 90, right? Um, so that just gives us 62. Um, but we can, we can double check their way. Um, we would do the um, inverse tangent of the opposite over adjacent here. So the inverse tangent of 36 divided by 19. Inverse tangent of 36 over 19 equals uh, 62.1 blah, 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 blah. Um, so be be you know if I give you a problem on a test don't don't make it hard on yourself and do it the hard way for every single one use the tools you already have um, Pythagorean theorem triangle sum theorem stuff like that um, but to get it started often you'll have to be using trig to to kind of get some of these problems um, here's one more problem for you uh, I'll put another pause up I was going to use a child but I guess I won't uh, pause. And ta-da! Um, if that's the answer you got, good job. Uh, but the measure of angle J, right, is right here. That is equal to um, uh, the tangent of angle J is equal to the opposite over adjacent. So the inverse tangent of the opposite over adjacent is equal to angle J, um, which is 26.318. So, uh, in class we'll be going. Over, we'll be doing the homework in class. So don't worry about doing the homework now. Um, but just know that we'll be doing lots of problems, and it'll be worth double points. So see you guys later.